Greetings, citizens. This is Lieutenant Commander Mr. Everything coming at you with an important announcement from the UEE Navy. The 1st Naval Aerospace Squadron, the Lions, is recruiting. Be a part of something great. Join now. We are looking for new and veteran players. The 1st Naval Aerospace Squadron is a UEE Navy carrier-based squadron. If you're looking for a disciplined, well-trained unit, join now. Not only do we want combat professions, but we need first-person marine experts, merchants, miners, salvage. All professions are welcome in the 1st Naval Aerospace Squadron. Our mission is to protect the UEE and its citizens. Join the 1st Naval Aerospace Squadron. Expected missions would be anti-piracy, anti-smuggling, fleet protection, search and rescue, convoy escort, bounty hunting, exploration, mining, salvage, asset protection, cargo hauls, to name a few. Join now and see the galaxy. We have an organization page on the RSI website, as well as the forums in Spectrum, and we have our very own Discord. Role-playing is encouraged, but not mandatory. The galaxy awaits. Join now. Whether you're casual or competitive, we're looking for committed players. We're based on a World War II U.S. Navy Air Squadron theme. Our focus our carrier-based craft, with our primary being the Sabre. But all ships are needed and wanted in the squadron. We would like to have a wide variety of ships to allow all kinds of gameplay. Visit now your local Navy recruiter and join the 1st Naval Aerospace Squadron. The squadron is growing. Visit our recruiter at robertspaceindustries.com slash orgs slash 1NAS to become a member of something great. Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming at you with another Star Citizen live stream. Yeah, this is really um, going to be a little bit less than... I don't have the camera on to me. Uh, what am I doing? I need to go to full screen. Hang on. Mike desktop okay perfect all right guys so we are in the game i just pulled up the 890 jump for the very first time uh i have never seen the 890 jump up close we're about to experience it for the first time let me go ahead and get into the chat it looks like it's trying to connect to chat i'm going to reload it Okay, it looks like it's connected real good. Real good. Looks like it's in a non-mod view. Switch to mod view. Okay, we're just gonna give it a little bit, uh, we'll get a little bit of testy over there. Okay, there's the test. Um, 
let me pull up the stream just to make sure everything is running properly. Uh, yep, looks like it. All right, so we are back. Let's get back into Star Citizen. Let's let's go down to Hangar Ten. That's where I'm located now. It might have. Yeah, there it is. We're getting closer. All right, so um, I'm also possibly going to use this video as a. Um, I'm going to use this video as uh, uh, a Starship Spotlight because I do a lot of Starship Spotlights on like all the new cool ships. Uh, I want to take advantage of that. Uh, so if I'm not responding to you uh, or if I do respond to you, that's something I'll edit out of my Starship Spotlight. So, so don't worry about it. You guys can go ahead and chat with me if you prefer. Uh, I got my chat pulled up on the left side so you can chat with me. But... If I sound like I'm talking about the ship, um, what am I trying to say? If it sounds like I'm doing a technical specifications video, then that's probably what I am doing, just so you know. Okay, let's take a look at this first. And I haven't really pulled up any specs or anything, so that is something that I will have to probably edit into the ship spotlight video. But I just wanted, this is my first impression and my tour of the ship just walking around seeing what's all about this ship let's take a look okay at first glance that landing gear is wobbling on the on the deck but it is big um if i get closer a lot like the it, it, yeah it settles down there we go well, still moving. But, okay, it's... That's definitely a big ski, isn't it? That's a big-ass footprint. And I was actually thinking about flying this out of the hangar uh, just to see how it maneuvers as well. So this video might be a little bit long, uh, but enjoy it, you know, have fun with me. I'm checking out this landing gear. Just this one freaking landing gear is gigantic. Ginormous. Looks good, though. It looks rugged and looks sturdy and looks like it'll hold the ship up. Okay. We're going to keep going. And I'm in my TCS-4. Uh, with no helmet because I wanted there to be the least amount of HUD. I didn't want to see chat messages or or my stamina and all that stuff. I didn't want to see all that junk. Man, I've been running for a long time. Wonder if you could stow away inside the landing gear pod there. Like if I was to get up here and then retract the landing gear, would it would there be enough room for me inside? That's that's gonna be a test. You know, just for my org. So that we can uh and then maybe cut a hole in the hull. Nah, it's not gonna let us do any of that. Alright, well, we've seen about as much as we can of the underbelly. That looks like a hatch of some kind. From the cargo bay, maybe. Is there a way to open the cargo bay from outside? Am I even close? Uh, there's also a ladder somewhere. I got the F button pressed. Okay. That looks like an elevator as well. 
That looks like a thruster. I know that there's an elevator that goes down. And I thought it was on the left side. It's close to the front, so... I mean, I'm directly under it, facing straight up. There's also this elevator. Or maybe that's a weapon. That's a turret. Uh, Pop-up turret, I do believe. I don't know how to get in this thing. Okay, first impressions are there's nothing that says enter here, press here, call elevator, nothing. So we're going to just hold F and walk up and down this thing until we find the elevator. It wouldn't be in the nose like this. I think the nose is a waste of space. But, okay, holding F. I think it would be in an area like this. It wouldn't be right in front of the engines, you wouldn't think, right? All I need is a little bit of an orange. And you would think it would be low enough that you could reach it and touch it with your hand, right? But I know a lot of ships don't do that. They have elevators you call from like a mile away. Now, is there a button or something like that on the landing gear? I could see where that would be a thing where you'd walk up to the landing gear, press a button and the hatch would open. I see a lot of now I've not what what the heck there's stairs that is cool I'm okay with that does that mean there's a place on here for me to press a button okay okay let's keep going down the side I don't want to make any see this looks like it would be a Elevator. Nope, it doesn't, li doesn't like me. Okay, so now we'll go back down the center. Oh, wait, what was that? Hey, call elevator. Um, oh, here it comes. Took a while. Whoa. Okay, I'm on you. I'm on you. Go up. I guess that's what we're doing. We're going up. Elevator shaft. Pretty cool. Join the comm. 890 jump. Whoa, no wonder it took the elevator forever. It's got a long ways to go. Okay. I see that there is no lighting. I'm going to need to get to the engine room, possibly, or the uh, cockpit. Sit down for a second, turn the power on, then get back up. So, I don't have a map, so I can't, like, press M to show me where the bridge is. So I have to look. Okay, so let's look. I think I'm going in the right direction. And I would think the bridge would be up top somewhere. But you know what? I bet you this is like the, oh, maybe, maybe I'm right. Maybe it is in a logical place. Wow, that's, that's weird. Okay, I like it. So far, I like it. 
Wow, looking over the Dorito taco thing in the front. Let's find power on. Okay, that's great, but I'm getting out of the chair. I just wanted to be powered on. If they say something about uh, you've exceeded your allotted time, then maybe I should go fly this somewhere, land, and then walk through it. Because honestly, I'm sitting at 48 FPS, which is not bad, I think, for having this big ship on a planet in the city. So maybe I should go land it in the wilderness and then walk around it. Uh, what do you guys think? Yeah, or just fly. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. If I wreck it, then I will have missed this opportunity. Hmm. But I don't want them to, like, store the ship so we're gonna go ahead and take off <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing help me help me Obi-Wan you're my only hope okay so we go to that so now I can look around with no impedance uh, that's power off that's not what I want I don't want to open any doors I want to engine on. Listen to that sound. I barely hear you, dude, because the engine sounds are so loud. Okay, we gotta let this gate, this, uh, gotta let this thing open. That is one fat bitch. Okay. All right, 890. Here we go. Where am I sitting? Am I sitting? I don't know. I have any idea. Let's let's pull that back out a little bit. All right, I think it's ready for me to take off. Why did it go forward? Control is down. Trying to go backwards.
I never hit that button. Oh my gosh. It was on cruise. And I never did that. There we go. Come on, baby. that monster and it's running smooth I mean I'm at 35 FPS but that's all right once we get over these like Tisa spaceport icons Yes, I am moving super slow. I don't think I want to land in the water, right? Because that's like instant death still. It's a heavy one. Doesn't roll very well. That's good. It's not supposed to, right? It's a yacht. as close as I can get. Wow. Okay. I should be far enough out from the city that I could land without any problems. So that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to land this thing.
And then once we land it, I mean, I could just sit here and hover and walk around, but I would feel more safe sitting on the ground. See if I turned that off. Okay, straight down. I got 60 FPS right now. To me, that's not bad. 61. 60. It's just in the city. Let's speed up this descent. Looks like there's a couple of some flat area right to my left. You know, like right right down there. Cool engines, cool windows, you know, and you look down into the atrium, it's pretty cool. Okay, we're pretty low. Better start thinking about slowing my descent. Yeah, rolling the wheel back. Well, I think we're in a pretty good spot to land right here, actually. I guess when we get closer, we'll be able to figure that out. Damn, look at that landing. Too finicky. Engines off, but the power still on. It's got kind of a g whoa. Okay, there we go. It's got kind of a blue haze in this room here, and I think it's because of that thing. Uh, that's pretty cool. Does it tell us where we're at on the map? I don't see us. It's a placeholder, obviously. Live logistics. South never won no war worrying about logistics. South never won no war. Precisely. Core systems. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm liking it. utility panel wonder if you can get under there somehow these look like doors hmm what is that
what would be in there avionics oh but there are just no avionics in there right now got it and what is this avionics more avionics more computer blades and junk and stuff and things okay okay I like these light it's not it's not lights aren't turned on what the heck I thought it was brighter than this is there a light switch that's a hard table chair I mean Kind of cool, kind of cool. We're looking out over the landscape. I know what that is. That might be part of the city. Okay. Maybe it was brighter because it was daylight and we're at nighttime, so. I don't know. I just don't know. This looks like a, not a mirror image, but pretty close of the other side. Then you got this little glass rail. What the heck? Oh, this must have been what they were talking about, about being Spider-Man. <laughs> Heard them say something about that. It's like, you can get up in the corner. Uh oh, we got we got some orange balls. Oh, well, first of all, hell, 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 stop. That's cool. Do those leaves not look cool? Well, okay, there's a little bit of a little bit of work that needs to be done right there, but from like. Lod one or whatever they call this, that looks pretty good. I like the planter. And then backgammon and cigars. Okay. Placeholders. Probably for art. Chess. And a planter. Nice. Staying on this level without going down one. A couple more chairs. Maybe it's a rear observatory. You can look out the back of the. And there's like an aquarium. Whoa, wait. What the heck? Hold on, hold on. There's an aquarium. And a pretty big curved screen TV. Some art. Yes, got some cigars, some books. I'm a vampire. Tells me what the ambient temperature is. Okay, nice. Coat rack, got it. More coat racks. Okay. Hanging uniforms or whatever. It's 
back to his office. What? How big is this frickin' suite? Or did I go in here and go underneath the stairs to the other side? And come out the other side. I did. I don't know what that wall's all about. Is that a cabinet? That's weird. It's cool. And then it brings you back to your foyer. Okay, so the the captain's quarters is all along the back side. Got the foyer. Couple of little private areas to entertain. You can go down about halfway, move in. Okay piece of art some gold inlaid marble and then something on this deck this I'm gonna count this as deck two I'm hearing music this could be a guest a senior or a Soap. Toilet. Oh wait. I can see out. Oh okay, the door's open. Uh cool. Oh look at that. That's cool. That's elegant. A little computer terminal and then another aquarium it would be really cool if all the aquariums are tied together with some pipes so the fish could like move back and forth between different aquariums that would be cool okay I'm gonna assume I know it's not good to assume, but I am going to. That the other side is exactly the same. Yerp. Just three just the reverse. Now there looks like an elevator. That's where you would call it. Just a bathroom. That's where you get to the one million mile high club. So my guess is everybody meets here and goes through here. Not not necessarily those two rooms, but they keep going through here to use the bathroom and this is like the bar slash dining those pictures are moving oh that's cool that probably took a little bit of engineering Okay, so there's a bar there. What's through here? Uh, the kitchen? No, that's an elevator, but what does it go down to? Crew kitchen. Pool. Hmm, I might have to go down there. But I'm trying to stay one level at a time.
trying to stay one level level at a time. Okay. So it's kind of like a bar. Astro Pub would be really happy about that. Yep. And then just look like uh, cafeteria seating and all that. That's where we came in. Private dining, because there's one on one right there. And of course, the plates have the origin logo on them. <laughs> That's cool. Take someone to have a seat. And then this would be the captain's table, probably. The captain would be sitting right here. First and second officer right there. Maybe officer crew or maybe his dignitaries would sit up there. And I guess that's the pop-up missile batteries. We don't see them right now, but yeah, that's where they would be. Plants, nice. Okay, I think I saw everything on this level. So, does this go to the kitchen as well? No, that goes to the hangar. Okay, so there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a difference. This elevator goes to the crew kitchen. Warrior Bar Lounge, that's where we're at. One is the spa. Might have to go down to that first. Spa and pool. That's just one level down. Okay, that goes to spawn pool and hangers, but that goes to the crew kitchen. Okay, we'll figure it out. Let's go to the back since we're right here, and I like the look of the pool already. I'm not going. I'm going to find out what's over here. Changing rooms, probably. I don't see a shower head, so it's not to, like, wash off the chlorine or whatever. It'll, is that a door? Nope. Okay, so those are changing areas, and this is the pool. I wonder if I get in the water if I'll die. So I'm going to try to avoid that. But before, oh, I like that. I like that wall. Look how the chairs are like built into the floor paneling. That's pretty interesting, actually. But, uh, I love that. I really like that. An accent wall, or whatever they call it. Looks like it's on both sides. It's probably just mirrored. You hear the water slashing. I'm not jumping in just yet because I don't want to die. We know where that is. Whoa. Whoa. Is this like more changing areas? Sauna? Whew, it's getting hot. Okay. It's, okay, it's a sauna. Whoa, it's your. Mm hmm. Another one, of course. Communal showers and all that, just to wash off. I want to jump in this one too. Whoa, is that, 
What's going on? An aquarium? I don't know. He said that was a display. Well, blurry. I don't know what that was. Yeah, because see, there's something behind the water, like a screen. So the screen will come on, but then the water will be like rushing over it. So I don't know. Once I get a chance to check everything out. Then we will jump in the water. Hmm. What that is. Airlocks. Engineering. Engineering. Escape raft. Crouch. Oh, look at that little escape raft. That's cool. There's an elevator to engineering, or I can climb a ladder to engineering. Okay. Escape raft or a lift. Lift to what? Yeah, I like how the sign says escape raft, but guess what? It's like right there. You don't have to put a sign right next to what it is. You need to put a sign out in the hall pointing in this direction. It's probably to the elevator. I mean to the engineering. Possibly. Okay, let's find out what this is all about. Whoa, that seat is floating. Both of those seats are floating. Oh, there's both engineering. Unless that's glass that it's sitting on, because look at where the light is. Yeah, it might be glass. Okay, you know what? We're going to check something. Yep, I think my feet are standing on glass. That's not an error, that's the way it's supposed to be. That's cool. Sp Wait. Wait, hold on. Aha! I didn't know where we're at. What is this? Another lounge or uh, another stateroom off off of the atrium. There's probably another one right over here, exactly the same. This is where you put your spacesuits. So, ooh, I wonder. I could walk around on the hull of the ship. I don't know if I want to do that. But that's what connects to like gangplanks. And I think there's one on both sides. Is this how I got into the ship? Yep. Because there was no lights and I just ran forward. Okay. We've seen most things on this level. Now I need to go check out the kitchen.
and every, and the cargo hold. Okay, first of all, what's going on over here? Looks like a pantry. This is where they can cook their own stuff. Microwave it. Well, this looks like a crew lounge. Or maybe this is crew staterooms. Yep. They don't have sweets. Was that toilet sitting right in front of the sink? What is that? Arcade machine, missile command, or whatever. Oh, basketball court. First turret door I've seen. Waiting lounge. Waiting lounge. Guests. Med bay. In a shadow. Holy heck, I can't find everything. This ship's got everything. Okay, that's the waiting lounge. That was the med bay. That brings us back to the elevator that would have said hangar. Okay. Weapons, weapons rack. Nice. More weapons racks. Oh, and they pop out, okay. And then the cargo bay. And there's stairs going down to the cargo bay, that's cool. At least we don't have the uh, 
sparks and the fire and everything coming off of the engine. That engine doesn't look centered, does it to you? It looks crooked. Okay, some of these panels don't open. Cool. Oh, there's a button. Nope, I need to go to an elevator. It's going to take us up to the escape pod, probably. Same thing, just in reverse. I guess I do have to go up a level. Yeah, they won't let us in those doors. This is that ladder that took us up to engineering, or down to engineering. Well guys, we're going to go swimming. We're going to see if it kills us. does not kill us. I'm also not really swimming. Hmm.
Whoa, what happened to my hair? Okay, that's got it worked out. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we've pretty much. Nope, let's go walk on the surface of the ship. Let's see if we can do that. That's the escape pod. Where is the. Stay light. I don't think there's much I can walk on. Escape raft one. There's supposed to be a ship you can fly. Wait, I missed. Wait, I was at the basketball court. Isn't that the hangar? Or is it hangar slash cargo hold? Okay, I'm in the comms channel. Isn't there supposed to be like an 85X inside this thing? Let's see if I can get... It. Well, let's do this. Before I do that, let's see if we go look at the back. If that's a possibility. There's the suite. There's actually a window that looks out the back. Okay, cool. I'm in. 
Okay, so let's go up front to see if I can't find that hanger. Hanger. Hanger, hanger access, which I think is just cargo hold. Hanger. Med bay, right? Med bay next to the hangar. Guests once they arrive by shuttle or something. Yeah. Yeah, there's the hangar bay, but it's empty. I didn't try going up here. Nice. Okay. Turret access? More than one turret? No, there's just one. that it won't let me shoot my own ship. That's good. That's cool. Why is there a drop? Did you see that? Where it flew out and it dropped? Hold on. Unless it's plasma. All right, that's fine.
Nope, that's cargo. It took a minute for that send elevator option to actually kick in. Oh, it automatically is closing the hangar doors. Okay. So instead of writing it, I'm going to send the elevator and watch from underneath. There's like glass over everything. Okay. Did I just vault? Yep. Nice. It said close hangar doors, let's see. Okay. I think we've pretty much seen as much as we can see on the 890 jump. I uh, appreciate you guys coming out and watching this video, learning what there is to learn about a walkthrough. And uh, if you want to hang around, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be jumping into some City of Heroes here in about 15 minutes. And you're welcome to join me there. All right, guys. I'll see you in the verse.